Previously on Baby Teeth 4. Julian, the fairy door is back. At the path's end, you must collect the waters of purity. Let's go find that water. It seems like it's swinging that way. Let's follow it. What's that? That must be what we came for. Whoa! The waters of purity. Good thing I brought this bottle along. Jillian, look! It's gone! We better not drop this water or this might be all we get. We need to get that water to the fairies before the door closes. It's too late? It can't be. Yes, it's too late. Oh no. Oh yes. The rulers of darkness have arrived. They already bow in fear to their new rulers. We don't bow before anyone. Yeah, get out of our house and crawl back under the rock you came from. Ha! These two don't know it's already over. The place you call the fairy castle has fallen. You're lying. Yeah, if the fairy castle's already fallen, what are you doing here? We do as we please without explaining to the likes of you. Ha! I knew you were lying. So, should I call my father, my mother, or the police? Yeah, we don't take kindly to home invaders around these parts. You think we fear your elders? They were easily fooled by our new human skins. We now look as ugly as you, so your parents didn't even notice the sleep spell we threw over them. You two better not have hurt them. Yeah, you just messed with the wrong family. They slumber and will not awaken, unless you do as we say. Your parents and your stupid pet, too. You must be referring to the dog. Yes, I know I'm quite handsome. A familiar. Perhaps they have other powers. Quiet, you fool. You're afraid of Paco? Ha, huh, they're afraid of a little kitty. You know I've always been more than just a pet, didn't you? We fear no man or beast. You didn't look exactly happy to see him. Maybe we should sick him on you guys just to see what happens. What will happen is that your parents will never wake up unless you do exactly as we say. We'll listen a bit longer. But we're starting to lose our patience, so don't try anything funny. Give us the Eye of Infinity! And then you'll wake up our parents? And go away forever? Yes. What do you think, Addy? Hmm. No. What? No, you guys are jerks. We're not giving you anything. Stop being a fool and give it to us! You'll have to find it first. Hand it over now! Never! Where is it? You'll never find it. Go home before things get really ugly. Give us the eye! Are you four finished yet? You might as well stop fighting. I hid the necklace. Where did you put it, you foul beast? Uh-uh-uh. Say pretty, please. Give us the necklace or we'll wear your skin as slippers. Ooh, tell me how you really feel. Paco, I don't want you to get hurt. Tell him where it is. Addy, is that a good idea? Don't worry about it. The necklace is safe. Give it to us. I just put it inside that little door over there. You fool! What does it mean, Jillian? I don't know, but at least they can't get the necklace. Oh, don't worry. We'll get the necklace. Even as we speak, Hoodwink is breaking down the last spell on the castle. We'll set him free before that can happen. And how will you do that? We have- Addy, be quiet! 
You have a what? It seems these two brats have a plan to break the spell. Look, the little one hides a potion. Hey, that's ours! Give that to me! What strange fluid is this? Haven't you ever seen a bottle of water before? She's lying. It must have great power. Where did you get this? A vending machine. Once again, she lies. Time for the spell of truth, then. Would you like to do the honors? Let darkness set your tongue free, and truthful shall ye be. Don't say anything, Addie. Now tell us, where did you get this fluid? Fountain. What fountain? Youth. Fountain of youth. Addie, no! Fountain of youth. She can only speak the truth. Do you know what this means? If we drink from it, we shall live forever. Drink deeply, my sister in darkness. It is finished. A new era begins. The rulers of darkness shall live until the end of time. I'm sorry, Jillian. I tried to lie, but I just couldn't. It's not your fault, Addie. Oh, girls, I think you have a new message over there. Look, Jillian. There is still hope. Silence, fool! All hope is lost. What's happening to them, Jillian? I don't know, but they don't look so good. We're fading! They've tricked us! That must have been one strong drink. Why'd that happen, Jillian? I don't know, but the doorway said there was still hope. Yes, there is still hope. The fairies! But hope is fading fast. But why? We just defeated the rulers of darkness. There are many more of them, and Hoodwink continues to break down the spells of protection on the castle. We brought the waters of purity, but the rulers of darkness drank it. The waters are a force of pure goodness that destroyed them, but not the spells on Hoodwink. We need to bring the waters to him. They drank it all. We'll have to go get more. There is no time. Hoodwink's spell must be broken immediately and the powers of the castle restored. Will our parents be okay? They have already awoken and have no memory of what happened. Wait a minute, Jillian. There's still a few drops left in here. Is this enough to break Hoodwink's spell? We fear that is not enough, unless... Unless what? Yeah, what do you need us to do? You have already done enough. There is another who can help. Paco? You didn't see that one coming, did you? Only a special cat who has passed through the gateway has the power to magnify such a small amount from the waters of purity. Well, seeing that the whole universe is at stake, I guess I can help out. We're coming too. It is too dangerous. Only your cat can resist the spells and save the castle. How long will it take? It depends on his powers and the water. There is a chance he may never be able to leave without the castle being lost. He could be stuck inside the castle forever? It is a difficult choice, one we cannot make for you, but the entire universe could be at stake. Paco, are you sure you want to do this? I don't want him to go, Jillian. But Addy, if he doesn't, the universe will fall under control of the rulers of darkness. But Paco's our kitty. I don't want to lose him. I don't either, but if he doesn't go, we could lose everything anyway. Paco, tell me you won't go. Please, tell me you won't leave.
Why isn't he talking? In his heart, he feels too much pain to speak, but he knows the right thing to do. It's time to let him go, Addy. No, it's not fair. I don't want my kitty to leave. It's gonna be okay, Addy. Bye, little guy. He's gone. So is the water bottle. The fairy door is closed. It won't open. Paco, come back. I think we just need to wait, Addy. No sign of Paco, huh? No. Daddy put up lost cat signs in the street. I couldn't tell him what really happened. At least the fairy door is still there. And I think Paco might be succeeding because our world has stayed the same. I know I should be happy about that, Jillian, but I'm not. I just want my kitty back. I do too, Addy. Come here. All right, how about petting me for a change? Paco, get over here. How'd you make it back? Those fairies are pretty organized. They have a whole group of cats working there now on shifts. Paco, is the castle going to be okay? Better than ever, thanks to us cats. Those spells of protection should be at full strength in a week or so. What about Hoodwink? Funny you should mention him. Hey, girls! Hoodwink? That's me! I don't know, Paco. Are you sure we can trust this guy? Mm, thanks to the waters of purity, the fairies were able to make him an honorary protector of the light. Yep. No more evil deeds for me. Uh, so what's he doing here, Paco? Yeah, I thought this place could use a little livening up, don't you think? We're gonna have so much fun together, friends. Oh no. Oh yes. The end. Hey guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And make sure to subscribe to both Baby Teeth More and Baby Teeth 4. See you next time. Bye! Bye.